Hey, what's up, you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, and I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. It's just I haven't been getting new figures lately, and plus I haven't been in the reviewing mood. But I just got this figure recently, actually just yesterday, and I am going to review the Marvel Select Thor. I just got it recently, and I am going to review it for you guys, and I love what they did with this effect here. I will get more into detail with that later, but this is just an awesome figure. It may just be one of my... Well, it is one of my favorite Marvel Selects. It cannot beat the Venom. I can just tell you that right now. But I do like this figure a lot. And I have a lot to share about it with you guys. So let's look at the accessories and we'll get... Sorry about the camera falling. Uh, just a little technical issue right there. But, and he comes with a, quite a few cool accessories. So first off, let's look at this Mjolnir right here. Very nice looking. I like this gray a lot. If you can see it. If the camera can focus, there is silver in the paint. See that? That I like that a lot. I like the wear on it, the little cracks. I like the detail in it. The handle's awesome. I like the brown paint. You can see the gray handle in it. Right there. I like this wrap right here. Nice soft material. It comes with two hands for only the right side. And which is this, uh, for this hand is grabbing this Mjolnir right here. You can just slide, slide it right in there. And it has this. And we'll get into the articulation with this hand in, in a little bit. But this hand is awesome. I like how they did this. They did a nice job with the silver right here. I like the wrinkles. Yep, they did a nice job. And my favorite accessory is this thing, man. This thing is awesome. The spinning mule. And I really like how they added this rope right here to make, sh to make it. To show you. This is the real Mjolnir that's actually spinning and not this one. You know what I'm saying, but I just love how they did that. And good paying attention to detail. But I do like this. I like how each one is painted nicely. Same thing. And I like that one. That is just cool looking. I like that a lot. And I just like the silver right there. The handles are painted nicely. I like this swoop, like this swooshing effect right here. It's done with like a silver prep. Um, not silver, um, clear plastic. And this one's done with like a brown translucent plastic right here. Sorry, I can't talk today. But, um, yeah, I, di I dig this a lot. And here's his, and here's this hand that goes with this. You just slide it in here like that. Just like that. You hold it, holds it nice and tight. And you can plug this in into the figure right here. Right, right, right here. There's no articulation on this hand, just to mention, but I'm fine with it. I wish there was, but it's alright. Just slide it in there, and it, bam, you got the spinning meal in there right there, man. That's just freaking awesome. It comes with a head uh, alternate head, but we'll get into, we'll get a uh, look at that later. So looking at the first head scope, we got the helmet on right here. It looks very nice. I dig a lot. It's very nice. I like that silver that they got there. The dark silver gunmetal silver right here. And I like the hair. The, the hair sculpted nicely right here. And I like that black shadowing effect we got. And we got this. We got whatever this is. I wish it wasn't there, but it's very comic accurate. I wish there wasn't. It wasn't there so the articulation would be better. But the head articulation is just fine. And I like this soft material we got here for the wings. Right here. Very nice. We got a soft material for the whole helmet, actually. I like this. I like the face too. Very comic accurate looking, and I do like that. And he comes with the second head sculpt. Let's just pop that off right there. Comes with these this unhelmeted head sculpt. Just pop it on. Come on. That's good. Yep, it's on there. Comes with this unhelmeted head sculpt. Which I like. I mean, it's not my preferred look. I got actually a lot of paint issues right there, like that. Got mold right there. It's got a little mold. Yeah, he's got some paint issues up here. If you can see it. Yep. See, a ton of paint issues on it. But I mean, it's a good facial expression and everything. But this hair's got like a lot. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, this hair's got a lot of black in it. Don't like that at all. And we yeah, just popped it off, and it's got black in here. But it's not bad. I don't. I won't display it with this, with this head at all. It's most preferred with this one right here. Pop that on right there. 
and these heads are a bit tricky to pop on and off. Well, they're easy to pop on and off, but you can't. It's a bit tricky to tell when they're on and off. Well, it's a bit tricky to tell when they're on <laughs> because you don't hear that popping noise. Let's put this one back on. Yeah, I mean, and I think this one, since they released a recent Young Thor or the Odin Sun and the Gladiator Hulkwave, I think this head. This head reminds me of that. I don't have that figure, but it just really reminds me of that figure a lot. I, I just don't know. It really reminds me of that head sculpt. But taking a look at the figure overall, it's got a nice body, a nice body look to it. I like this gold here. We're getting it here. This, um, these silver things right here. I don't know what these are called. If you do know what they're called, please let me know in the comments. Get them down here too. You can check the belt down. I like this. This T over here for the Thor, nice. I like this belt, nice sculpting work into it. I like that sculpting here on the strap. And all overall, it's nice. I like the arms, I like these bands here. Very spiky. They're actually pretty pointy too. The muscle definition is awesome. I like that. Um, the cape is cool. I'll get into that in a bit. Um, I. I really wish this arm came with an open hand for the spinning Mjolnir to make it look like he's about to throw it. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool, right? But, um, yeah, we're getting off topic there. We get these, I like this, um, um, what was it called? Chain mail. I like the chain mail here. It looks very nice. I like that. It gets black here. This joint was very stiff when I got it, but I cracked it open. Yeah, it looks very nice. I like that. That's odd. I'm just noticing this. This has this has like an open spot right here if you can see it. Yep. And then when you go into the other side, it's like normal looking. Well, that's a bit odd to me. But eh, what do you do? What can you do about it? Well, I like the boots here. Very nice boots, and I like how you can the knee. You still got the chainmail on that knee. That's very nice. It didn't, and it's still sculpted. So yeah, that's nice. Paying attention to detail. And these straps right here are nice, like the black, and on the boots, get the, and get to the actual foot, and like that book, the little buckle there, and it looks very nice, and like, I like the little brown wash over the black, and going on to the back here, and I, I like this opening that's very awesome looking, so let's get under the cape, I like how that looks, maybe if you were to take this cape off, it would look a bit more like Ultimate Thor, maybe, maybe, I know. Um, yeah, that's some cool. I like that. And the cape is awesome. I like the cape. I like this material for the cape. Soft, pliable material. I like the shadowing effect with it. Much better than the Marvel Legends one. With in the uh, in the Terrax wave way back when, right here. I mean, I like the color of this one too. But I mean, it's got a very stiff material and stuff. I mean this, and I'm gonna talk more about these two in a bit when we get to the size comparisons. But yeah, this is a much better cape, and I think this is a much better Thor figure too. So yeah, let's get it to the articulation. So the articulation on this figure is pretty decent. I like it a lot. So for this head sculpt, this, okay, <laughs> all right. This head, pop that back on. Really tricky getting these thing these heads on. So tricky. Okay. So the head can look up. Just the camera. So the head can look up. Okay, the head can't look up because of the hair. But okay, forget this head. Let's put this. Let's put this head back on. So hold on. There we are. So I got the head popped on, nice and tight. So this head, the heads don't really look up as much. They don't really look as up as much. They look down a decent amount. Look left and side to side. It's hindered by the thing back here and the hair, but it's not hindered too much. You get a little head. You get some head pivot there. There's and the shoulders are not that much. Down and forward to get a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow that moves in that much, and this wrist hinges up, up and down like this. 
And then this one right here for the um, normal Mjolnir holding in moves like this, like the um, rolling of the dice motion right there. Here. And so yeah. And you also, well I put this away, you can also over there. You also can rotate and hinge up and down. This one can also rotate and hinge like this, like that, and this. Um, this torso can back that much, crunch forward that much. You can rotate a little bit from that torso joint. So the legs move out that much. Oh, okay. The hips move out that much. Can they can kick forward? And they have it has a upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. He's in the ankles move down, up, and ankle pivot, and then he has like a calf. He has like an ankle rotation right there. And this door is actually pretty scaled well. I always think Marvel Selects are a bit tall, but this door figures out about about seven and a half, about eight inches tall, and it actually fits well in a Marvel Legends display. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends, well, Return of Marvel Legends, um, Marvel Legends Thor right here from the Terrax wave. And I also forgot to mention he came. This Marvel Select Thor came with this base here. It's a very bland base, but who cares? We got the spinning me on there. Um, but yeah, the as you can see, this tall, this um, Thor is a lot taller. I always thought this Thor was taller, but this one fits in a Marvel Legends in a Marvel Legends display very well. This one really didn't. I like this figure a lot better than this one a lot. And speaking of the spinning mule there, and you can actually use it on other Thor figures if you if you like. See, you can actually have have this Marvel Legends Thor hold it if you want. See, that looks pretty cool, right? And here he is next to the Marvel Legends but um, well I was gonna say Bucky Cap, but the Marvel Legends Havoc, but which utilizes the Bucky Cap body mold and the Marvel Legends Series Three Toy Biz Wolverine. And this Thor may look tall. Like right now by itself, stand among these two. But if you actually get it in a display, it actually doesn't look as tall. And I do like that if, that a lot, which looks very nice in the Marvel Legends display, more better than the actual Marvel Legends Thor. And here he is next to the two other Disney Store exclusives. Well, and I forgot to mention, this is a Disney Store exclusive, so if you want to get it, get it at the Disney Store, anywhere, you, any Disney Store you store you shop, you should get it there. So... Here he is next to the Disney Store Classic Captain America, and here he is next to the Disney Store exclusive um, Hulkbuster. I know you can't see it, but it's huge right there. And I think these scale fair, uh, fairly well. I mean, I'm talking about the Hulkbuster and the Thor. Not so much about the Captain America and Thor. Really, the Captain America is just a tad bit taller than Thor, which I do not like it a lot. They should be about the same height, or Thor, or Thor should be a bit taller. And I didn't really like, I mean, I do like this cap a lot, and I'm not going to lie, but I just don't like the height of it. It's just, I always found it too tall. And here he is next to more Marvel Selects. We got the Marvel Select, like the Wolverine, the brown suit version, and it's the very unmasked. And we got the Marvel Select Gambit right here. And I do like the size in between the Select Wolverine and Thor, because I always thought this Wolverine was too tall, and I always thought the Marvel Legends Thor was too tall. But I think the sizing can work actually because the Wolverine should be tall, um, shorter, and and Thor should be a lot taller than Wolverine. So yeah, I like that a lot. And it's also just gonna bring in the Toy Biz Wolverine right here. And yeah, I mean it still works. It still works. I like that. So that's my review for you guys today. I mean, I overall I like this figure a lot. It is actually one of my favorite Marvel selects. I'm going to say it might be my third favorite for right now. Who and 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 uh, behind Venom and the Amazing Spider-Man Two Spider-Man, but I do like this figure a lot. It goes really well with my Marvel Legends display, really in scale with those figures. Like, but like I said, when you have him standing alone with them, he's not really in scale. But if you have him in a display, he's pretty good in scale. So yeah, I like this figure a lot. If you want to get it, you have to go to the Disney Store. Like I said, it's the Disney Store exclusive. But yeah, it's a very cool figure. I like it a lot. And I'll see, catch you guys next time. Bye.